Hi guys, welcome to Tootie's Kitchen, where I'm going to do gadget reviews, recipe tips, recipes, pretty much whatever makes me happy in the world. Um, this is my very first video, so I'm just kind of getting my toes wet, and it's very weird and awkward, so just bear with me for a little bit. Um, and when I get nervous, my voice gets really high, so sorry! Okay, so I figured for the first video we do a cool tech review. Tech review? This isn't a tech video. Jesus. A cool kitchen review. Um, so... My husband actually had this idea of uh, when you go online and you see all these weird gadgets that you want to try, but you don't spend the money on them to try them, well, that's what I'm here for this time. So we were shopping, and I saw this gadget that I wanted to try out. So we're going to go for it. So you don't have to spend the money on it, and we can see if it actually works. And, of course, I got something that looks like it could be a complete and utter disaster. We're going to make butter. Um, and usually when you make butter, you see those, like, old churny things. This is, I guess, um, modern age butter making. So it's called a butter cup. And we got it at Home Goods, actually. And see it? It comes like this. So it's got all these instructions. And essentially, you get milk. I got two different kinds of milk. So we're going to do this twice because I don't know which one's going to work. So I got whole milk and heavy whipping cream. And so we're going to try the whole milk first. This suggests that you keep it at room temperature for six to eight hours. Um, as a chef and someone who knows food bacteria, I don't suggest leaving your, food, your milk out for six to eight hours. This has been out for about 45 minutes. I think they just want it to be warm, maybe, so that things can separate a little easier. I don't know, we're gonna see. So it's got measurements on it. And it, so the max, so I'm gonna fill it up halfway to the max because that seems to be the easiest. So the top comes off, and you're supposed to be able to um, like strain stuff out of here, and then the bottom comes off, and this is what the milk is supposed to be held in. The milk, the butter is supposed to be held in. So we're gonna do the whole milk first. And so I guess we'll just pour it in the top, like this. We're gonna only do like halfway Cool. And it's a very difficult concept to do, let me tell you, you just shake it for about three minutes is what the instructions say. And then magically, you're supposed to have butter. So um, it's 8.36 right now, so I guess we'll shake it until 8.39. And my husband's editing these videos, so maybe he'll do a cool little time lapse. So here we go. Okay, so I have been shaking for three minutes, and I feel like absolutely nothing has happened. Um, but I'm gonna get a bowl, and we're gonna strain everything out. I didn't plan this one through very well. All right, so I got a bowl, and yeah, I feel like absolutely nothing has happened. Oh no, I don't want that. I want the top with the strainer. I feel like I just shook milk around for three minutes for Almost no reason, other than to shake milk around for three minutes. So I'm supposed to have butter at the bottom of this. Um, I have milk. I had more milk, but no butter. I feel like a failure. So I'm going to try the heavy whipping cream next. So it didn't really do anything, it's still milk. And I am wondering if keeping it out for six to eight hours separates like the milk from its properties, like separates all the properties out. But again, I wouldn't drink milk that's been sitting out for eight hours because you're gonna get sick and that wouldn't be good. So I don't understand how, but anyways. So we'll try the heavy, it is at room temperature. It's been out for a little bit. Now heavy whipping cream I'm real nervous about because heavy whipping cream makes whipping, whipped cream if you whisk it. So I'm thinking I might end up just making a whole bunch of um, 
whipped cream, which wouldn't be the worst thing. It'd be better than absolutely nothing. All right, so I filled it up again to the same amount. And three minutes. All right, three minutes. Flaw in the design, it leaks. Um, so, you know, there's that for it. And we tied it real tight too, but still leaks. All right, so I'm gonna pour this heavy whipping cream out um, in a different bowl, apparently. Cause that's what someone told me to do. Okay, so this is thicker, much thicker. But again, I feel like, see, that's a lot thicker than what it was when it went in. But again, it's to make, a heavy whipped cream is to make whipped cream. Like if I were to keep doing this, it would make whipped cream. That's what it's for. That's what we use it for in kitchens at least. Like if you don't have whipped cream from the store, you just take a little bit of this heavy whipping cream in a mixer with some confection sugar and whip it till it makes whipped cream. All right, so I've got like a little bit of film in the bottom, but I wouldn't call that butter. There was a lot of chunks in there though that came out. So I'll show you the bowl here. So keep in mind that whipped cream Heavy whipping cream and milk is two different consist consistencies, but you, this is definitely thicker. But again, I'm gonna say this one more time. If I kept doing this, it would just make whipped cream. It wouldn't make butter. So um, I'm gonna say that this was a fail, whether it be on my part, because I didn't get the right milk, or just the flaw is, now I've never made butter like by myself without, you know, just for fun. <laughs> so I'm not, if anybody's ever made butter and you got some tips, maybe that would be the way to go. But I would not waste my time on this. Plus, if you can make butter from just shaking heavy whipping cream, just get a cup with a strainer on the top and shake it and it's the same exact concept. And you don't have to spend six bucks on this little doodad. So yeah, so I guess I'll keep doing this and we'll have some whipping cream and we can have cake or something. Uh, so I'm gonna try to do two videos a week, I think is what I'm gonna try to do. Um, they won't all be gadget reviews. Some of them will be recipe tips. I might actually cook in some of them. I haven't really decided yet, but I do know that I wanna do two videos a week for sure. And the next thing I'm going to do, because it was there and I saw it, is this Angry Mama. Because really I hate cleaning out my microwave. And this seems like a really cheap, um, cheaty way to do it. So we're going to do this next time and see how it works. But I'm going to have to have Nathan cook spaghetti in the microwave first to make it dirty. Because it's really not all that dirty right now. So that will be what I will do next. And for this little guy, he's going to find a home in a drawer and probably never come back out. So thanks for visiting Tootie's Kitchen and um, yeah, come back in a couple days for Angry Mama.